Good morning, Verado. I'm Colin Fabitz. And I'm Melissa Schepker, hosting this week's installment of KVHS Weekly Show for August 30th, 2019. First things first, congratulations to the freshman football team for the 46-point slugging over the Canyon View Jaguars. Thank you for showing the little brothers how it's done. In other news, permission slips for the DECA Leadership Conference are due September 10th. Before we catch up on other news, let's go to weather. So tomorrow will be sunny with a high of 110 and a low of 82. The rest of the week is partly cloudy. Sunday will have a high of 105 and a low of 82. Monday will have a high of 105 and a low of 80. Tuesday will have a high of 105 and a low of 79. Wednesday will have a high of 102 and a low of 80. Thursday will have a high of 103 and a low of 82. And finally, next Friday we'll have a high of 101 and a low of 85. This is Katrina Nicholas with your weather report. Students, just a reminder that you need to have a parking permit by Friday, September 6th. Starting Monday, September 9th, security will be sweeping the parking lot to identify unidentified vehicles. Parking passes may be purchased in the bookstore for the price of $50 with proof of license and insurance for juniors and seniors. If that price is too much for you, there are other alternatives such as carpooling to school with friends or riding a bike to school. Thank you for keeping our campus safe, Vipers. Hello, Verona Vipers. My name's Sydney Guerin, and I'm here to interview one of our new assistant principals, Mr. Lees. Let's go to his office and ask him a few questions. What are, what are your plans to improve Verado? Well, I really want to work with the Verado students to improve um, kind of the culture of Verado with clubs, advisory, um, help Mr. Butler with athletics. I just really want to help the culture of Verado be a place that's very welcoming to everybody and a place that everybody loves going to every day and make Verado the very best high school we can um, in every class, club, sport, everything we do, I want it to be top notch. So that's kind of my plan. So you talk about the culture of Verado. So then what does one Verado mean to you personally? Uh, it's one of my very favorite things about being here. Um, it's actually one of the biggest reasons why I applied to work here. Um, one Verado means to me that there's no student and no teacher and no faculty, no person on this campus is invisible. Um, every person is part of Verado and every person matters at Verado. And being one Verado means that from Mr. Showman down to freshmen and everybody in between, every student here is important and every student here makes Verado what it is and we can't be one Verado without them. So what are you, what are you looking forward most to this year? I, I just, so honestly, seeing stuff like this, just seeing all the different clubs, um, the academics, the team, there's so many great opportunities for students here. I just can't wait to see what all you guys produce this year. I, I just, honestly, I'm going to be a, just a big fan of everything that Verado does from football games to clubs to the plays to dance to choir. I, I'm just looking forward to being a part of all of it and just helping you guys be the most successful you can. Mm -hmm. So then, um, just to finish things off, what is one piece of advice you'd like to give to all the students of Verado? My, my biggest piece of advice would, would probably be one that maybe other people have heard, but it's true, is you have to use all the time you have here and get as involved as you can. High school goes by so fast, and, and I know it sounds like something you've heard before, but the people who say it, say it because we remember how quickly high school went by. Get involved as much as you can. Join a club, play a sport, try an instrument, meet new people, go to games, go to the dance concerts. Um, do as much as you can, because as time is going to go by really quick, uh, and you're going to wonder if you could have done more. You can't do enough here. Get involved as much as you can and do as much at Verado as you can. And that is all I have for you today, Vipers. My name's Sydney Guerin, and I will see you next time. Bye. Hello, Vipers. My name is Jay, and today we're going to be playing Two Truths and a Lie, Student Edition. Alrighty, we are here with... Robert Liss. Robert Liss, alrighty, we're gonna be playing two, two Truths and a Lie, here we go. Um, I have green eyes, um, I kick footballs, um, and I wasn't born in America. I'm gonna say your lie was you, you weren't born in America? Yeah. Let's go. Hello, I am here with? Zamaria. Alrighty, are you ready? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. Um, so my first truth is I have two dogs. My second truth is I have three siblings, and my third truth is I've lived in Arizona my whole life. Ooh, I would honestly say to Arizona. No, I used to live in Colorado. 
Oh, what was your life? Um, I used to live in Guam. Oh. Now I am here with Emily. Alrighty, are you ready, Emily? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, number one, I have a dog named Bailey. Number two, I have broken my nose once. Number three, I've been out of the country. I want to say broken nose. Yes, I've broken my nose twice. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. My name is Jay, and that was Two Truths and a Lie. If you would like to be in the weekly show, contact kvhs2 at agafria.org. Welcome back. Speech and debate meets every Tuesday after school. If interested, see Miss Jackson in E28. If you do want to buy a protection plan for your Chromebook, which admin extremely advises, payments must be made by September 6th for it to be active for this year's school year. And if you're driving to school this year, pick up your parking pass in the bookstore for $50. Now let's go to a new segment with me and my dog. Hey VHS, this is Yoga with Maggie. This is Downward Dog with Maggie. Then you're going to want to start down on the ground like this and push up so your chest is parallel. I'm more of a beginner, but Maggie here is a master. Namaste. Who's this? <laughs> <laughs> and in yoga, you meet friends that last a lifetime. This is Delisa. And this is Matthew with, with your, your weekly, weekly sports, sports announcements. announcements. Last Friday, varsity football had a game against South Mountain. We won the score of 58 to 28. Last Tuesday, boys golf placed sixth in their match against Ironwood and Mountain Ridge. Last Wednesday, freshman football had a game against Canyon View with a score of 46 to zero. Next Monday, Girls Golf has a match against Centennial and Desert Edge at 2 p.m. at the Verado Golf Course. And next Wednesday, Girls Golf has a game against Millennium at the Tuscany Falls Golf Course at 2 p.m. Badminton next Tuesday has a game away against Moon Valley at 4 p.m. And Badminton also has a game next Thursday against Greenway at 4 p.m. Next Tuesday, Volleyball has a home game against South Mountain at 4, 5, and 6 p.m. Freshman football has an away game next Wednesday against Castell at 6 p.m. Next Thursday, JV football has a game at home against Castile at 6 p.m. And Swim and Dive has a game next Thursday against Shadow Ridge at 4 p.m. Also next Thursday, Boys Golf has a game at Lake Havasu at 2 p.m. This has been Delisa and Matthew signing, signing off for VSPN. Have you heard that I have tea? Okay, so I heard that there's going to be a meeting of all of the club presidents starting advisory. I wonder what they're talking about. Have you even taken a look online? TikTok is taking over our school. I heard if you buy homecoming tickets, you have a chance at winning two Chainsmoker concert tickets. Hopefully we'll get to hear more about that soon. And speaking of homecoming, I heard the theme is... Thanks for tuning in into the second show of the year. I'm Melissa. And I'm Cullen. See you next time, Verado.